Hey guys and welcome to this new video. Some of you may notice that I delisted the remeshing video I published I think two weeks ago and I'm recording or rather re-recording a fixed version now. The reason is we had two meshes before. We had the rock and the plane where the rock was standing on and the plane caused some confusion as I didn't plan to use it for the game ready mesh so the series should be only about the rock and the only purpose of the plane is just for me to have a good render in the end for thumbnails and so on. And yeah, the whole mistake destroyed my plans a bit as the matte texturing video should be up this weekend, but it will probably be on next weekend. But yeah, I think for a transparent process and for the sake of continuity, we won't use the plane, not in this video and also not in Instamat for texturing. But yeah, I think let's just start with the remeshing video. So I already loaded the rock into Instalot. And to do so, you just start Instalot and you can drag and drop your mesh into Instalot. And for such a high poly mesh it will take a while to import it. As you can see we have a total polygon count of 42 million polygons. And to make the rock game ready we have to reduce this and yeah that's what Instalot is for and that's where Instalot is really great. So at first we go to file and create a new profile. And here we have different options like we could just optimize the rock and we could also do a full remesh which we, we will be doing for this mesh here. We have all the, also the possibility to quad remesh it so we will have quad polys and not triangles but we will go with with um, the remesh option with the original and we'll end up with triangles and then we have a couple of other options like imposterize that will clear um, create imposters that's great for for example trees that are in a distance so it will basically be just a flat plane we can material merge we can occlusion cull we can also just texture bake and we can UV unwrap as well, UV repack. But yeah, let's go with the remesh. We don't use a template here and we just create our profile. So now when we choose our profile, we have different settings. Like for the mode, we can reconstruct it, optimize, convex hole and just UV it. We'll use reconstruct and we can go to the UV view um, or UV viewer. And you can see the rock when we select the mesh it doesn't have any uvs but while reconstructing instalot will automatically create uvs for us so let's keep it at reconstruct we have the fuzzy face count target which will determine the poly count basically which will, will end up normal is usually good for games and such for real-time use so let's just go with normal and yeah, basically, Instalot is quite great with the initial, uh, with the default setting that settings that it offers. So most of this will stay as is. We just change the bake engine from CPU to GPU to have a faster result. We can open the UV menu and choose the unwrap strategy. Let's keep it at automatic for a more hard surface model. We would probably choose choose one of the hard surface options here for an organic like this rock we will choose organic so i could choose organic here as well but yeah let's just keep it at auto let's keep everything as is yeah i think let's stay with with those settings here let's go to the texture output so while remeshing Instalot will also bake maps for us that we can then use on our high po uh, on our low poly model. For the settings, let's keep the texture size at 2K, super sampling at times two, texture filter will stay at bilinear, and then we can choose the maps that we need. So we'll need a tangent space normal. We'll need an AO map. Let's use displacement, maybe not. Let's use curvature map. And yeah, I think that's what we need. And the rest of the settings will stay as is. And those menus we won't need for now. So yeah, it's basically the setup that we will be using. So let's just press on start and the remesh will start. 
and I make a shortcut here as the remesh will take a while due to the high poly count we have on the rock. So let's make a cut. All right, so after the remeshing finished, you can see our rock looks basically the same, but our polygon count got down from 42 million polygons to around 70,000 polygons. And when we click on the rock, you can see the mesh looks quite nice. And this will surface like this. We could optimize it more and reduce the polygon count even more, but I think this looks quite nice. We could then go in and, oh, let's check the UVs. So when we go to the UV viewer, you can see our UVs got unwrapped. And for a triplanar workflow, this will be good enough. So no need to do the UVs by hand. And yeah, then we can just go to file and export our selection or the whole scene. In this case, we will export the selection. And just so that you can see, we can then change the remesh and go to optimize, for example. Let's go to a, to 10% from our current triangle count. So we type in triangle percentage 10. We could set up the feature importance, like the boundary importance, the silhouette importance, and so on. But here you have to take care a bit as setting everything to highest, for example, might not, not grant the best results, so you would have to try out a bit. So basically it's fine when you set one of those to highest. It also could work if you set more of them to highest, even all, but again, this might depend on the mesh you have and you have to try out a bit. But usually the default settings that installed are enough. But yeah, let's go with the silhouette importance highest and then let's just click on start and we will then be asked if we want to process the unmodified version or the processed version and in this case we just take the processed version and that's quite fast as you can see our polygon count got reduced even more and for game ready model this would probably be a really good result but i think we, we will go with the remeshed version let's just go back here and here's our initial remeshed version and we will export this one. In any case, we can still optimize the mesh in Instamat afterwards as well. But yeah, again, I think this looks quite nice. We have all the details, the silhouette is nice. And yeah, this will be quite great for texturing. So let's go to file and export, let's select it first. Go to file and export the selection. Let's call it rock LP as we had a as we had a high poly one somewhere here and I'm not sure I have different folders so it's a bit messy. But I just export it here and yeah we'll look in Windows for it and put it in the in the right folder. So yeah, let's just save it. So after it got exported, let's maybe quickly preview it in Blender, just for fun. So this is our rock LP. Obviously we don't have the baked maps applied currently, but this is our wireframe. So yeah, I'd say in the next one we will go into Instamat and texture the rock. So thanks for watching and see you next time. And yeah, as always, if you have any questions or comments, just let me know. I try to answer everything as best as I can. So yeah, until next time.